Hi viewers, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, we'll discuss what is called a subbasis. So definition. Definition of what is called a subbasis. So last time we defined three different topologies on uh, the real line with respect to which R is a topological space and we saw several uh, relationship between them, right? Between three different topologies on the real line R, namely the standard topology, lower limit topology and k topology so uh, in this uh, in this uh, video we'll discuss what is called a subbasis so let us see the definition a subbasis a subbasis s for a topology on x for a topology uh, on x is in fact a collection it is a collection of subsets of x it is a collection of subsets of x whose union equals x whose union equals x so what does it mean let us see suppose you have a topological space x tau means x is a non-empty set and tau is a topology on x right so suppose that this is a topological space this is a topological space so you construct a set s you have a topological space x tau so you construct a set s what is uh, what are the elements of set s so elements of set s are basically the subsets of x so s is in fact a collection of subsets of x collection of subsets of x you are not collecting all possible subsets of x right you are collecting it, it may be all possible subsets of x, no problem, but you are collecting in S those subsets of x whose union equals x. Okay, so S may be the collection of all subsets of x also, right? No problem, but it may not be also, right? Fine. So S is just the collection of subsets of x, okay, whose union equals whose union equals x. Then S is called a subbasis for a topology tau on x. Okay, so you have a topological space x tau. You construct a set S where you collect all subset, not all, but you you collect subsets of x, not necessarily all, whose union equals x. Okay, if you take the union of all elements of S, you should get x. Okay, then S is called a subbasis for a topology on x. Now we have already seen what is called a basis, right? Basis generates a, a topology. Given a non-empty set X and a basis, it will generate some topology. And how and what is the topology generated by a basis? That is also clear to us. Now here, once I have a subbasis for a topology on X, it will generate some basis. Subbasis will generate a basis, and basis will further generate a topology that we already know, right? <clears throat> so given a non-empty set x or given a topological space uh, x tau and a subbasis uh, for a topology on x uh, that subbasis will generate a basis and basis will further generate a topology where the topology generated by a basis is the given topology on x right okay so uh, now the question is how the basis generated by a subbasis looks like okay how the basis generated by a subbasis looks like okay so basis generated by by a subbasis so basis generated by a subbasis s is let me denote it by script b it is equal to the uh, it is equal to the collection of all finite all possible finite intersections of elements of x so b script b is the all finite intersection of elements of s sorry intersection of elements of s 
Okay. So, given a subbasis for a topology on X, it will generate a basis. And basis generated by a subbasis is the collection of all finite intersection of elements of S. Means you have a set S, which is a subbasis. Now you try to collect in script B all finite, all possible finite intersection of elements of S. That is in fact equal to the basis generated by a subbasis. Okay, that is equal to the basis generated by a sub subbasis. But I have to further show that script B is in fact a basis. Okay, I have to further show that script B is in fact a basis that I'll going to uh, discuss uh, in the next slide. But before that, so once script B is a basis, now I'll assume without verification that script B is a basis and script B is called basis generated by a subbasis S. So once I verify that script B is a basis, it will generate some topology on X, right? Right? It will generate a topology on X. Now how the topology generated by a basis script B looks like? See, every element, I have already proved that every element of topology is the union of elements of a, it is equal to the collection of all unions of elements of B, right? So, basis, uh, so topology generated by script B is equal to the union of collection of all unions of elements of B. But elements of B are all finite intersection of elements of S, right? Elements of B are <clears throat> all finite intersection of elements of S. So therefore, the topology tau, if, if I denote tau uh, to be uh, the topology generated by script B, it is equal to the uh, union of, it is equal to the unions of all possible unions of elements of script B. That is unions of finite intersection of, finite <clears throat> intersection of elements of S, right? So tau contains all possible unions of all finite intersection of elements of S. Because I have already proved that if you have a basis, then the topology generated by a basis is equal to the unions of all elements of B, right? Okay, <clears throat> clear? I think it's clear, right? So subbasis S for a topology on X is a collection of subsets of X whose union equals S whose union equals x, I'm sorry. And once you have a subbasis, it will generate a basis. And basis contains elements as all finite intersection of elements of S. Right? And once you have a basis, it will generate some topology on x. And the topology generated by a basis, uh, if I denote it by tau, then it will contain all possible unions of elements of B. But uh, elements of B are all possible intersection of elements of all possible finite intersection of elements of S. So tau will contain union of all finite uh, intersection of elements of S. Right? So this is uh, the definition of a subbasis. Okay? So I have to, now I have to show that script B is in fact a basis. Right? That is what I have to verify next. Without verification, I say that script B uh, is a basis, uh, right, for a topology on X. And it, it is called the basis generated by a subbasis S. But I have to verify that script B is in fact a basis. So my claim is that uh, script B is in fact a basis for a topology on X, right? So script B, which was the collection of all finite intersection of all finite intersection of elements of S. Uh, is a basis is a basis so for script b to be to be a basis i have to verify that it satisfies the two uh, required properties right so for first is so you take uh, any arbitrary element so uh, you let any arbitrary element small x there in capital x so corresponding to small x there in capital x you have to find an element in script b so that x is there in that element right but see I have already assumed that S is a subbasis for a topology on X. That means elements of so S is in fact equal to the collection of subsets of X. But once you say that S is a subbasis, it means that the union of elements of union of all elements of S is equal to X, right? Because a subbasis S for a topology on X is a collection of subsets of X whose union equals X, right? Okay. 
so i have already assumed that uh, s is a sub basis so x is equal to the uh, union of uh, elements of s right so small x is there in capital x means it will belong to some element of s because x is equal to the union of elements of s right okay so uh, so small x there in capital x mean, means so it belongs to to an element of to an element of s why as x is equal to the union of elements of s since x is equal to the union of elements of s correct but every element of s is an element of b because whatever element from s you take you can write it as a finite intersection of elements of s right finite intersection of element of itself right if you take an element say uh, a there in sorry if you take an element yeah a there in s you can write a as a intersection a intersection a no problem or intersection a no problem right no issues so every element of uh, s is a finite intersection of itself right okay so every element of s is there in script b so it belongs to a, so it's for an small x there in capital x it belongs to an element of s right but it belongs to an elements of s implies that uh, and hence let me continue and hence it belongs to an element of and hence uh, to an element of to an element of script b because every element of s is an element of script b okay so for any element small x there in capital x what i proved is that there is an element in script b such that x is there in that element so first condition is satisfied so let us see the second condition right very simple so to verify the second condition you just see suppose that x is there in the intersection of two elements of script b so let x is there in b1 intersection b2 where b1 and b2 are elements in their elements in script b so b1 is there in script b means b1 is the finite intersection of elements of s and b2 is there in script b means b2 is a finite intersection of elements of s so you can write b1 as so b1 is equal to you can write s1 intersection s2 intersection so on intersection sn right what are s1 s2 and so on sn these are elements of s where s1 s2 so on sn are elements of s right and similarly b2 is there in script b means b2 is equal to the finite intersection of elements of s so you can write b2 as s1 dash intersection s2 dash intersection so on intersection sn dash same argument where s1 dash s2 dash so on sn dash okay let me write sm right so sm dash are there in s why i am writing n and m it may not be true that both both the both the natural numbers n and m will be identical right okay right so what i have to find i have to find a third element in script b such that x is there in that element and that element is in fact a subset of b1 intersection b2 so you just look at b1 intersection b2 b1 intersection b2 is also a finite intersection of elements of s because b1 intersection b2 is nothing but s1 intersection s2 intersection so on intersection sn intersection s1 dash intersection s2 dash intersection so on intersection sm dash but this is also a finite intersection of elements of right elements of uh, s this is a a finite okay let me write like this this is equal to a finite intersection of uh, elements of s this implies that b1 intersection b2 is there in a uh, script b and x is there in b1 intersection b2 and b1 intersection b2 is there in script b so x is there in 
B1 intersection B2 subset of B1 intersection B2. Right? You take B3 to be B1 intersection B2 itself. Okay? No problem. Then in that case, X will be there in B3 subset of B1 intersection B2. So here I have taken B3 to be B1 intersection B2 itself. So that such that X is there in B1 intersection B2 uh, subset of B1 intersection B2. So from 1 and 2, what I can conclude is that you just say from 1 and 2, we conclude that a script B is a basis, right? It is a basis. So, uh, and script B is called the basis generated by a sub basis S, okay? And script B is called it is called a basis generated by a sub basis s okay and sub basis of a sub basis is a collection of subsets of x whose union equals x and any sub basis generates a basis and further basis will generate a topology right on x that is what we already know and what how the topology generated by a basis looks like it is equal to the union of all finite intersection of elements of s clear okay and how the basis generated generated by a sub basis looks like it is equal to the all finite intersection of elements of s so with this i want to stop so uh, in the next lecture, I'll discuss what is called order topology uh, and uh, what is called order topo topology. And then next, uh, I'll discuss what is called uh, product topology and then subspace topology. With this, I want to stop.